Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. I hope you all are fine. I request you, please take CLAM and cooperate with the corresponding government and local authorities during this pandemic. But uh, most importantly, since all government and health agencies are urging that, please stay in your home and keep CLAM and do work from your home. So as a student, we can do the study, our study, we can pursue our study from our home. So that is the main thing uh, I am uploading right now. And another impo important thing is that uh, today you may think that the video quality is not good, editing is not proper. I agree with you. It is true because I am also locked down. So I can't do proper editing, which I used to do outside. Not possible. That's why the quality may be a little reduced. Please accept. And so today we will discuss our MCQ. This MCQ could be used, could be means uh, ask such type of question like DSMS, uh, NET, GATE, etc. type of exam. So this MCQ, frankly speaking, this question is little tricky. I made it little tricky. So because right now you see in exam, easy questions are not generally asked because this NET, GATE exam. They used to add complicated question, but we think it is complicated. But if you think, if you are uh, understand the total thing, total inside, it is not that much complicated. So for that reason, we should practice some apparently tricky looking questions. So it may help be helpful in future. Okay. And most one of the important thing. So if you think, if you get such type of question in your exam, I suggest you first get cool down, think, read the question properly and try to understand what they are, what they want to know from you. Okay. So if you understand what is actually asked inside the question, then you will be able to answer properly. Otherwise, first of all, you have to leave the question or there is a chance of mistake and mistake costs negative marking. So that's why practice such type of question. It's unique type of question. Uh, and uh, so before going to details, I have a small request. If you really like my teaching, please uh, help my channel to grow. So first of all, read the question. See, this is an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. This is an alpha beta unsaturated compound heated in presence of alkali. So what is the product they have asked? Okay, so the question could be, what is the structure of A and B? First strategy, easy strategy. Otherwise, is, this question could be asked in a different way. Which will remain in the reaction mixture as major product? So after heating, if you after doing the reaction, for example, 12 hour heating, 20 hour heating, whatever you do. After that, if you check the reaction mixture, which one is a major product? So both way question would be asked. And option would be given in this way. So option, for example, this, this. So, so before going to details, let me uh, give you another important. Try to compare the option and keep it in mind. This is a pair. Means, first of all, you can do one thing. You can, if you know that any one reaction, any one reaction, if you know, then you may check that what is the option like that you can do. But if you don't know, then you have to think about. So first of all, we may understand. That alkali, what could be two options possible? One is isomerization of this double bond, is position change, and second is aldol condensation. But aldol condensation is not that much efficient. First of all, why? See, there is al in this position there is alpha hydrogen and here vinylogus proton. So possible, but this carbonyl group is not that much electron deficient because of the conjugation of this double bond. So aldol probability is less. First part. Second, isomerization of double bond. So what happens if this question, this double bond is isomerized? We can expect that this product. Now, if you think why, I'll explain everything in the details. Why? See, this product is stable. Okay. And another thing, no particular time is given. So you have to think about from thermodynamic point of view. Since no, no reaction time means time and temperature given, only heat means they want to know what is the thermodynamic part. In this way, you have to understand. 
So this now question why this? See this is a more con more substituted double bond. Okay, so more stable. So first of all you have to think where this is given. You I don't know this so I don't want to comment on this. So see double bond is shifted. Check here double bond shifting no means actually here one this is not shifted another is shifted. So let's cross. This is shifted. Okay. None of this remove. Here shifted. Okay. And here not shifted. Cross. Now we have to think in between this and this. Okay. See, in this case, both are shifted. In this case, only one shifted. Now it is the question. Okay. So let me tell you the answer. The answer is this one. Only one shifted. Now, I will, so this is actually, I will explain everything. Now this question could be asked in a different way. Different way means, here they can ask, means, no reaction. Or, this question could be asked in a different way also. This is methyl, means this happens. This happens. But this doesn't. Question one. This is the easy question. See, if you keep it in alkali heat, this transformation of double bond happened, but this is not. Question one. Apparently, when we look something, it seems like okay, this is five member of a carbon. When it should happen, then it should happen. But this doesn't happen. This is the observation. So that's why the answer is this. Now we will discuss why, how and why. I suggest you this is, uh, this is actually, this is a difficult, not, I will not say difficult, but it is a misguiding or confusing question. Means, if I consider when I was a student, that time such type of question is really confusing. And not on the exam, during your lab viva or organic chemistry class, uh, means class test, such type of question we ask, that this, in this case, if you treat this, this happens, but this doesn't happen. Why? Okay, now let's discuss the answer. So, first of all, how this is happens, let's think, then you understand why this is not happening. So, so, this is alkali, so what can happen? That if you put this in presence of alkali, this proton could be abstracted. It's working. Yes. Okay. So after the abstraction of proton, one part is this carbon ion generation and resonance stabilization. Fine. Direct abstraction. Another thing. Apart from that, this proton could be abstracted. Two options possible. Vinylogus shifting of property okay this term is known as vinyl logus shifting of chemical property this vinyl logus uh, spelling please you check the spelling i maybe i made mistake in the spelling okay fine this minus so not only this, there is a chance of abstraction of proton at this position. So if it is, then it can have another canonical form. Means it can push, it can come and it can open. So what is the structure? This is O minus. This is. Now see, this is the methyl. Now another thing. This proton abstraction is a reversible reaction. Okay. So this could be proton abstracted further, and this since it's enol, it could be converted to corresponding ketone. Okay. So this thing possible. Now see, now it became a inter a almost uh, almost I will not say almost similar type or symmetrical type. What do I mean? 
CNC, the shifting of double bond happens. So it should go through a common intermediate. Common type intermediate beta to C. Common type intermediate. Okay, so it should go through a common type intermediate. Now see, this is a common type intermediate. Why? There is one hydrogen here. Actually, there is there are two, but just I need one. So this thing. Now, if this hydrogen is abstracted and this double bond shifted, we will get back to our target one. But think about think from the other side. What do I mean? That this is abstracted by the base. In the medium, there is hydroxide. So what is the product? And second, in both case, the produced produced uh, enolate is resonance stabilized. Okay. So in presence of base, everything is a reversible reaction. So what it could produce on O, this is methyl and this is minus. Okay. So this carbon is resonance stabilized. It could have an another canonical form. What is that? It can push and it can go. So what will be the thing product? This, this, minus and this can abstract proton from the reaction medium this should be methyl this and base is generated means alkali is needed catalytically so ultimately what we are getting this is this see this thing we have got so how this happened and question why this is so as I told more substituted carbon carbon double bond is more stable so if it is if the more substituted cc double bond is stable that is the reason for the propagation of the reaction we understood why this is happens now question why this is not happens why it doesn't happen okay so just now i am going little fast as you know the process, so what we can expect? We can expect that, first of all, carbon ion will generate from here. So, this, uh, this is double bond, this is the methyl, this is the carbon ion. Not, this is, so this part will not focus, we will focus on the vinyl locus part here, fine. So, this vinyl locus thing can further this vinyl locus thing can further this and it can open so proton after that it can abstract a proton from HOH means water so what will be the product here so this is the double bond this is this and here is the methyl now if the methyl is here fine see this previously there was a symmetrical intermediate see after abstraction of proton what happens this is the symmetrical intermediate now from that point of view you can say also the symmetrical intermediate fine now you proton could be abstracted from here or here in the previous case look at in the previous case this this proton was abstracted it was alpha proton it was the alpha proton so acidic but if you see this is this is the allylic one this is the allylic one, so not that much acidic, okay? This is enolate, acidic. But if it is abstracted also, there is no fate, okay? And ultimately, what will be the product? Then ultimately, in this process, we can expect that this is the product. But if you think from this versus this, this is unstable. This is unstable compared to the parent one. Why see previously it is a conjugated alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound conjugated system stable but this is unstable because of non conjugated okay so this is the reason it the reaction does not happen I guess you understood the process okay so let me summarize this study first of all vinyl locus pro proton abstraction is a reversible process you have to keep it in mind Second, abstraction of proton from the vinyl locus position is, happens. So after that, it produces a symmetrical type intermediate. Then this proton abstracted and resulted into a more substituted double bond. 
conjugated as well as more substituted that is the main reason or driving force for this reaction but in this case conjugation is lost and substitution is not possible that is the reason that reaction will not happen not happen because ultimate product is less stable or better to say unstable compared to the parent also it will not happen it will stay so this is the answer that why this reaction result in this product but this doesn't happen and in this way mcq would be asked which is cleverly that here no here no reaction no reaction means the parent one reactant molecule will remain in the reaction mixture so that is the trick the difficult part such that this question could be asked okay so i believe you have understood this part thank you for your patience thank you for watching this video so if you really like my teaching i have a request to you please help my channel for its growth first of all subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the every notification notification of every single video i upload secondly share this video among your friends because if you share then your friends will be able to know and my effort may be helpful for that person also that's a very good point of satisfaction because my effort is same but helpful for many people and most importantly please like the video and make some good comment because it inspires a lot and uh, it indicates how much benefit you are getting from my efforts so thank you again stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video